Welcome to Speak English Now. In today's video, Ali will talk about her pets with you. You'll learn useful words and phrases that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Also, you will improve your listening and speaking skills without stress. Please listen carefully. My pets. I always wanted a pet, you know? So one day I finally convinced my parents to let me get not one but two. A cat and a dog. Let me tell you about my furry family. I got this cat, Mochi, from the shelter. She could melt anyone's heart. When I brought her home, she was all shy and hid under the couch for hours. But soon enough, she became the queen of the house. Now she spends her days lounging in the sun and chasing shadows. Then there's Max, my golden retriever. Man, he's a bundle of energy, always wagging his tail and ready for an adventure. We go on walks together, and he's always pulling me towards the park. Sometimes he gets a bit too excited and ends up chasing his own tail. Silly dog. But you know, what's the best part? The way they get along. At first, I was worried they wouldn't get along, what with Mochi being all aloof and Max being so hyper. But turns out, they're like two peas in a pod. They cuddle together on the couch and even share their toys. Having Mochi and Max around has brought so much joy into my life. They're not just pets, they're family. And I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Now let's look at the words we used in the story. Before our speaking part, let's learn some words from the story. Bundle noun means a collection of items or things tied together. Example, she carried a bundle of firewood on her back. Two peas in a pod idiom is used to describe two people who are very similar or who have a close relationship. Example, Jane and Sarah are like two peas in a pod. They do everything together. Now it's time to speak. Repeat after Ali. I always wanted a pet, you know? I always wanted a pet, you know? So one day I finally convinced my parents to let me get not one but two. So one day I finally convinced my parents to let me get not one but two. A cat and a dog. A cat and a dog. Let me tell you about my furry family. Let me tell you about my furry family. I got this cat, Mochi, from the shelter. I got this cat, Mochi, from the shelter. She could melt anyone's heart. She could melt anyone's heart. When I brought her home, she was all shy and hid under the couch for hours. When I brought her home, she was all shy and hid under the couch for hours. But soon enough, she became the queen of the house. But soon enough, she became the queen of the house. Now she spends her days lounging in the sun and chasing shadows. Now she spends her days lounging in the sun and chasing shadows. Then there's Max, my golden retriever. Then there's Max, my golden retriever. Man, he's a bundle of energy. Man, he's a bundle of energy. Always wagging his tail and ready for an adventure. Always wagging his tail and ready for an adventure. We go on walks together, and he's always pulling me towards the park. We go on walks together, and he's always pulling me towards the park. Sometimes he gets a bit too excited and ends up chasing his own tail. Sometimes he gets a bit too excited and ends up chasing his own tail. Silly dog. Silly dog. 
But you know what's the best part? The way they get along. But you know what's the best part? The way they get along. At first I was worried they wouldn't get along. At first I was worried they wouldn't get along. What with Mochi being all aloof and Max being so hyper. What with Mochi being all aloof and Max being so hyper. But turns out, they're like two peas in a pod. But turns out, they're like two peas in a pod. They cuddle together on the couch and even share their toys. They cuddle together on the couch and even share their toys. Having Mochi and Max around has brought so much joy into my life. Having Mochi and Max around has brought so much joy into my life. They're not just pets, they're family. They're not just pets, they're family. And I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. And I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Listen to the story again carefully. I always wanted a pet, you know? So one day I finally convinced my parents to let me get not one but two. A cat and a dog. Let me tell you about my furry family. I got this cat, Mochi, from the shelter. She could melt anyone's heart. When I brought her home, she was all shy and hid under the couch for hours. But soon enough, she became the queen of the house. Now she spends her days lounging in the sun and chasing shadows. Then there's Max, my golden retriever. Man, he's a bundle of energy, always wagging his tail and ready for an adventure. We go on walks together and he's always pulling me towards the park. Sometimes he gets a bit too excited and ends up chasing his own tail, silly dog. But you know, what's the best part? The way they get along. At first, I was worried they wouldn't get along, what with Mochi being all aloof and Max being so hyper. But turns out, they're like two peas in a pod. They cuddle together on the couch and even share their toys. Having Mochi and Max around has brought so much joy into my life. They're not just pets, they're family. And I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. Now relax and answer the questions. You may want to pause to answer. With this method, you will acquire the language with no effort. So don't stress and just listen carefully. If you want you can take a look at the story in the description. Was it Ailey who always wanted a pet? Um, yeah. Why did Ailey always want a pet? Um, because they bring joy. When did Ailey finally get a pet? Well, at some point in the story. Did Ailey convince their parents to let them get two pets? Yep, that's right. How many pets did Allie convince their parents to let them get? Um, two pets? Who convinced their parents to let them get two pets? Allie did. Did Mochi hide under the couch when Allie brought her home? Yeah, she did. Where did Mochi hide when Allie brought her home? Under the couch. Who hid under the couch when Allie brought her home? Mochi did. Is Max a calm and lazy dog? 
Um, nope. What kind of dog is Max? Well, he's energetic. Who is a calm and lazy dog? Um, not Max. Does Max always pull Allie towards the park? Um, yeah. Where does Max always pull Allie towards? Towards the park. Who always pulls Allie towards the park? Max does. Do Mochi and Max get along well? Yeah, they do. Who gets along well? Mochi and Max do. Do Mochi and Max cuddle together on the couch? Um, yeah. Where do Mochi and Max cuddle together? On the couch. Who cuddles together on the couch? Mochi and Max do. Would Ollie trade Mochi and Max for anything? Um, no way. What wouldn't Allie trade for anything? Mochi and Max. Who wouldn't trade Mochi and Max for anything? Allie wouldn't. Today you spent time listening and practicing a bunch of things. It's good if you feel tired now. Take a rest, but do not quit. Keep practicing. It helps you get better. Every time you practice, your English improves. Remember to click like and subscribe for more lessons.